Nice commentating with you. Let me get off really quickly. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Anyways, we're starting off. Tips versus Doorman. Pac-Man versus Bowser. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> What's up, Desley? <laughs> Hello. This is interesting matchup. So Pac-Man can out neutral Bowser so easily, but at the same time, he can't really find those like early kills. Like he doesn't really have like an in so characters that like to fight Bowser usually have like insane combo game. They can kind of just juggle him really well. Pac-Man doesn't have any of that, but Pac-Man requires a yeah. lot of setup. Yeah, exactly. Like for Bowser to get around like fruits and hydrant is very very hard. But if he does, like it's really scary for Pac-Man because he doesn't yeah. actually have like a ton of tools to rack up damage that well. So I'm interested to see how this will go. It'll definitely have to do with like how many times they actually interact. Because <laughs> if they never like if oh okay that's death yeah oh. great rising fire at the ledge but if Thorman never really like managed to actually hit Tibbs he'll definitely win. But getting there is easier said than done for sure. But as I say that Doorman starting to stack up a lead. But this is where it, start, where it starts to look scary. How does he get off the ledge? Oh really cheeky setup with the uppy on the hydrant. Uh, Doorman at 126, being pushed away by the Hydrant, but trying to use the Hydrant as kind of a projectile. Oh, catch is the second place. That F Smash is, is DLC. Don't let anyone deceive you. That F Smash is super strong, it's pretty fast, it has a late hitbox, it's huge. Yeah, it's it's very good for Pac-Man. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I just noticed the Hydrant go through Pac-Man's up B. Did they change that from Smash 4? Uh, I don't know how it was in Smash 4, so, so I, I, thought it I, 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 can't, I can't really comment. But I know that they changed a lot of things. Like he, he used to be able to like mash up B out of combos or like it's frame one. It, it, does, it has much different uh, properties now. You can actually hit it, which is kind of weird. Oh, Ooh. catches that. That's a really good, good option. It's still frame fast, but it's just not quite as uh, as good as it was before. Anyways, okay. Doorman getting that side B. Not gonna kill yet. Tibbs gets the apple. Another side B. He's gonna do Sus it! Suspicious DI. So, with that move, the way you want to DI it is... Well, first of all, the way it works is uh, when it hits the peak, or when he grabs you and he's like at the peak of it, uh, it doesn't move anymore. So once you're at that point, you can start DIing instead of just like trying to influence where he takes you. And uh, the way you want to DI it is, if you're like next to the ledge, you DI down and in, like to the corner. And if you're like closer to center stage, you DI down and out. So, yeah. yeah. Like, in general, in this game, if you don't get the sparks and you die, you probably just DI poorly. And that was the case. And, you know, while Tips has made some mistakes, he's not too far away from, uh, you know, sealing out Dorman's last stock. But as I say that, takes 25 <laughs> from the Fire Breath. That is a very good move in this game. Uh, Dorman at 131. Uh, a Rage Bowser is kind of scary right now. And with the bell, if he stuns you, a nice forward smash could be yeah. it. He, <laughs> as you say that, Sick. he goes for the exact thing, but... Saved yeah. by the Hydrant. <laughs> Some like secret, not secret, but like a thing about item matchups is that, yeah, your opponent can use the items, but your opponent will never be as good at using items as you are. It's, you know, when you play yeah. Pac-Man, you're going to be better at using the fruits, like just as a player. You're but, just self-aware of how the fruits work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you use those in every game you play and stacking up the damage with a nice combo and Doorman evening out the percents, but he will need to get, oh, he should Oh, this. that is it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he he didn't live it. Nine, nine, he wasn't 90, right next to the ledge. Uh, and, and he got the sparks, so it probably wasn't too bad at the eye. And uh, Doorman taking game one. I feel like Doorman was able to get a lot of these side Bs. I think if Tibbs was able to play a little more evasively, like the thing about Bowser's side B is it's, is it's frame six, it's really fast, but the range is poor. Like he kind of has to just like jump in and just commit to it. So. If, we see a little more like jumps or, or rolls even from Tibbs. That might be nice, but if he doesn't do something about those side B's, it's gonna be scary. Oh no, oh. please, please play Pac-Man. Okay, no, okay, okay, okay. He Can has a Luigi. He does not have a Luigi actually. He likes playing. <laughs> he likes playing Luigi, but yeah, it's a it's a day three, day four character at this point. But it's like it's, it's like to everyone it. has a Falcon. Like yeah, yeah. It's like in Smash Four. Yeah. yeah, in this game, no one really liked playing Falcon. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing. I don't know, earlier me and, uh, I think Wabla were doing Falcon Ditto. Yeah, and we that, that, that's fun though. Yeah. But, yeah, th we're gonna be seeing more of this, uh, very evasive gameplay from, uh, to just really trying not to get hit. Oh, he just goes straight into the down air. How's he gonna land? Okay, that's what I'd like to see. Uh, going for a more aggressive option on landing. I feel like Tibbs was, like, hiding in his shield a lot after landing, and Dorman was catching on to it, but... Uh, 
Yeah, uh, this time. Tim's it up. definitely playing a lot more offensive. Uh, you saw him earlier game one. He was just mainly trying to stack up for these combos. Now he's just like, okay, I just need any damage at this point. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Oh, really good dodge. Oh, wow. Takes him with him. Uh, that's probably a smart move. Uh, they were both at pretty even percents, uh, but... If you were, Tip was definitely dying to that, so it's like, yeah, it, I might as well take him with me. Yeah. Drops a grapefruit. Um, I always call it a grapefruit. I know it's a melon. It is a melon, yeah. Melons, a lot more common, like, in Japan. It's like a, a, a big, yeah. like, one of the main fruits there. Here, not quite as much. Yeah, I mean, you uh -oh. just have watermelon and that's it. Yeah. Uh, and trade, trades is... with the down air, yeah. Really weird stuff. Those multi hits. Oh, oh wow. Okay, miss. I thought he was missing so many times. <laughs> like, it just looks like it, this looks so fake. Yeah. Doing some wall combos <laughs> with the hydrant. That's kind of a funny thing you can do. But, Doorman at the ledge. And, wow, these aggressive downers have been getting him a lot of mileage against tips here. I, I don't know if he's uh, been punished for a single one so far. Okay. What's the command and grab? The bell? I would have liked to see uh, Doorman do up. He had a shield there, because I definitely would have punished uh, Tibbs' landing, but Doorman not quite ready to pull the trigger on that. Goes for drop shield side B. But as I say that, does a sliding up tilt. A really good option for Bowser. That up tilt's huge, and this is going to be like 30? Yeah. Yeah, 30. Really deep fire, and this is where it starts to get really scary for Tibbs. Is he needs to get rid of the stock, but we'll see if Doorman gives him a way in. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. So hydrant, some water works going on. I, I didn't really know what was going on there. Both of them F smashing. The water from the hydrant has been saving tips so much from these forces. Okay, out of heal. Okay, really strong punish. I think even the. Uh... Okay, tries to use what? Oh, <laughs> no! I've never seen that before. Oh, that was really funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the hilarious. trampoline co coming in clutch. Like first, okay, so. Tibbs put the trampoline under, uh, okay, really good spot dodge. But Tibbs put the trampoline under Bowser, like to kind of, you know, bait him into falling into it off the halo. And then Doorman avoided it, and then went right back into it with the, uh, with the side B. <laughs> really funny. I think Doorman was hoping that he could both break it and continue That's it. That's death. But yeah. it just caused him into free fall. Anyways, Doorman. Yeah, just Doorman casting on that Tibbs is kind of just landing on top of his shield and says, yeah, land on, land on top of these spikes. <laughs> Really smart up smash. First time he even used it that game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, and next is Kosaku versus Melee player. Not to be confused with Burr. Different guy. Uh, not being seated quite as well. Uh, Burr has been working on his Pokemon.